Alright guys, so right now I'm backing up in the store over here in Westerville, Ohio. So yeah, I'm picking up my load, which is going to Miami. You know what I mean? And it's good because uh, the yard is in Miami. So when I drop this load, I could just drop the truck off, hop in a Uber, and head home. Because home is like 30 minutes. Not even 30 minutes, like pretty much 20 minutes, you know what I mean? In the door, guys. So I'm gonna give this man this um, pickup number so he can start loading me. You feel me? So, this load is going to Price Mart in Miami, Florida. It is actually a load of cylinders, empty cylinder bottles. You know I mean, where you put gas in for your stove and stuff. Yes, guys. So, that's what I'm gonna be picking up. So we got our paperwork. We are loaded. And yeah, we are going to Miami. Oh, I gotta lock this door up right now. All right, guys. So there we go. That's the load. We got half of trailer of cylinder. I mean. It would be better if they just load everything on the ground all the way down here because I hope I'm not overloaded on the front. So it's saying the weight is... No, we good. We got 14,000 pounds, so we good, we good, we good. All right, guys, so finally rolling. You know what I mean? We got 18 hours to get to Miami. Yeah. My very first stop is gonna be in Virginia because I gotta get some fuel in at the pilot. And um, I think I got like three more, no, two more fuel stops after that. You know, and um, yeah. So I won't be taking this truck back out. You know what I mean? So <laughs> that's the thing. I'm gonna have to change the lettering on the truck on the wait on the new truck. I'm gonna have to change the lettering on the the new truck that I'm gonna be taking out. Cause this truck got too much problems, man. Too much problems. So yeah, I'm finally giving it in. Everybody usually change their trucks because they stay more than five days. And I could still keep my truck, you know what I mean? Even if I stay more than five days home. You feel me? Because I'm a hard runner, you know what I mean? And they know that. So, yeah. So pretty much, I might take a Volvo or another um, Freightliner, just not this one, you know what I mean? This truck, I don't know what's with this truck, man. I be having back-to-back -back problems with this truck, and I try to be like, okay, at least if this truck keep breaking and it get fixed, I will know what broke, you know what I mean? And pretty much I'll keep up with maintenance on this truck so I know yeah you know I mean it should be okay just keep the same truck yeah you know I mean because the same thing can happen I might take another truck right now and then it still had problems so but no nah, I feel like it just got to the point right now where it's bad you know what I mean 
I don't even have turns. My emergency signals don't even work on the truck no more. My lights can't turn off. So most likely when I sleep at night, I have to turn off the truck and turn off the emergency thing, the emergency knob. Um, Y'all know what I'm talking about. All truck drivers know that know about these freightliners. I have to turn that knob off to turn off the whole power for the truck. You know what I mean? So yeah, guys. Um, that's the deal, man. I'm gonna have to make a stop by my mom. Make a stop by my mom on Tuesday. I'm, that's I'm trying to make it there by Street. Tuesday. This load delivers Wednesday, 11 a.m. But I'm actually trying to make it at Turn least to Fort Lauderdale by Tuesday. So I could stop by my mom and get some stuff off. I gotta take this bed. I gotta take this bed off the truck because it's a brand new bed that I bought. Pay about $300 for it. If y'all watch my video when I dropped off a load of furniture in um, Colorado. Y'all will see when I bought this bed. So, spent a lot of money on it. So, I'm going to take it out to put in a new truck that I'm going to get. And I'm going to take out my two fridge and, you know, a couple other stuff. You know what I mean? And clean this truck up for the next person. So, that's the deal, guys. Alright guys, so we're now in Port St. Lucie, Florida. I'm at the Blue Beacon down there. I don't know if y'all can see it, man. But yeah, guys, we're here trying to get a truck wash before I drop this truck off in the morning. There are probably like 20 trucks ahead of me right now. You know, all the truckers that truckers coming home now and they want to have a clean truck, so What's going on with both of them? What the fuck? That guy that parked right here is a problem. That's crazy. Somebody better do something, man. Y'all tripping. Y'all better tighten up. Over here tripping and stuff man that's why I'm trying to I'm, I'm trying not to go too far up because I don't want to block everybody the truck, right? 